Hey everyone, this is Anna, and thanks so much for visiting my channel. I'm going to do just a really quick project with you guys tonight. I'm going to be using this paper pad from Echo Park. It's called Spring Market. And I just think the patterns in here are so pretty. There's this tossed rose, which is just a loosely watercolored print. These little leaves here are really gorgeous. Um, there's a, a pink, looks kind of like a lattice or a fence. Um, there's some really cute cut aparts. Um, my pad is falling apart here, so it's not the easiest thing to show you, but um, really pretty green um, checkerboard. There's some um, couple different wood grains in it, and uh, this really cute boot print, and an all over garden um, icon toss. There's that rose again. So just really cute prints, um, pretty colors. And uh, so I thought it'd be fun to make a project with this paper. Um, I'm going to be using also um, this die here from Impression Obsession. It's called Rain Boots. And I think this is a really cute die. And then I'm also gonna be using this um, narrow tag from Impression Obsession as well. And it is a narrower tag. It's only two inches wide by four inches long. And it also comes with this little topper piece that you can use to embellish the top of the tag. So I'm gonna use that as well. And so if you'd like to um, hang out with me while I make this project, uh, I invite you to do so. I've already die cut um, all my pieces. I'm gonna be starting um, with a card base that's really small, actually. It's only three by five. And so fold it, in, um, fold it out at six by five, and then I just scored it down the center here and uh, created just a small note card. I've also die cut a couple of layers. So I've selected this uh, wood grain piece here, and I've die cut a piece of black cardstock just to add as a layer beneath. Let me go ahead and get my glue out. I'm watching the end of the Gonzaga basketball game and uh, pretty exciting Gonzaga was not leading for most of the game but here like in the last two minutes they've taken the lead so they are our local university um, basketball team Gonzags. Need to unclog my glue. See if that helps. There we go. Much better. So I'm um, working on this project. The Impression Obsession um, design team is uh, featuring dies in our projects for this week's inspiration. And um, so I thought I would just do a little project here with you guys. And have a little fun. Um, this evening while I watch the basketball game. All right, so I've also die cut the um, rain boots. I've die cut them um, out of this artichoke green color, and um, I just wanted this to be like the uh, layer behind the top set of boots that I want on the card. Um, I've also die cut the tags. I've die cut it um, two times, one time out of this rain boot paper and one time out of this really pretty blue cardstock from Stampin' Up. I don't remember what this color is called. Something soft sky or something like that. But I just wanted it to, um, to act as a little bit of a stabilizer. So I'm gonna end up putting this tag on the card about like that. And so I have the green boots. I have some that I've already um, die cut and colored. I don't think that's the right color for this particular tag, but cute though they are, look at that. I have this pair of yellow polka dot ones. I think those are pretty cute actually. And there are actually yellow polka dot boots in the paper. And then I have this pair of peach boots. And that's a little too orange. The boots in here are a little bit more on the pink side. And then I also die cut these, which is actually a piece of the pattern paper, and I think I'll go with these. So I'll show you how I do a little bit of shading on these to make them um, the dimension pop out just a little bit. So I start with a um, 
a C1 or a cool, cool gray marker in a very light shade. This is a C1. And I just follow along uh, where the boots are cut in between the two and add a line there. And then you can also add a line at the far edge just to give it a little dimension. And you can color this piece in too, just because that would kind of be inset. And if you don't think that that's quite dark enough, you can do a little bit of uh, flicking to pull that color out a little bit. Add a little bit of shadow to the soles. And then I think I'll add a C2 a cool gray two marker and do the same thing. Just really easily follow that die cut edge and then pull it down like that as well. And same thing with the soles. And I think I'll even use a slightly darker marker to add a little bit more shading to the sole. I think I'll go with a um, C6, so a cool six. Just like that. And I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and mount these boots uh, to this green piece just for um, a little more stability. Just like that. And then I've also die cut the little um, straps as well. So I'm going to glue that onto here. Just like that. And then I'm going to add the little buckle. I think I'll use uh, the buckle from the dark green boot. The layer that's behind so it has a little bit more definition there add that right there and then I do have this little tiny piece that goes in the center I think I'm gonna use my little jewel picker to pick that up I found it I misplaced it the other day but I found it it was just hiding under another pin here on my desk put that right in there and there. I think that's really cute. All right, so I'm gonna set those aside, pull this down here, and I'm gonna adhere my two tags together. Now I could adhere these um, over top of each other um, like this, or I could even twist them off to the side a little bit so there's a little more dimension. But since this blue color is not actually a color that's in this print here, I'm gonna overlap them. Um, so that the blue doesn't show. And just like that. And I'll just so you know too, most of my tags that I design, I design them so that they're symmetrical. So if you want to have a really nice looking die cut um, tag on the back side, if you were gonna write on this, you could actually use the die um, you know, front side and front side. So you'd have the really nice die cut edges um, showing on both sides rather than the uh, back side there. But since this is gonna be adhered to a card, I'm okay if it's just um, adhered with the back side showing. And I think I'll use some foam adhesive to tape that down. And my foam adhesive has pretty much lost its sticky. It's really, really old. So I think I'm gonna actually use a little bit of glue as well, just to kind of hold this down in place when I stick it to the card. Cut off another piece there. Yeah, so if you're wondering why I'm gonna put some white glue on here, it's just because these aren't, this isn't very sticky anymore. So to fix that, I just add a little bit of glue. All good. And 
That gives me just a little bit of wiggle room to, to Sometimes when you work with foam adhesive, it's, it touches the paper and then it's like stuck forever. <laughs> so there's that. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of seam binding up here at the top. So this is my tea dyed uh, seam binding. Looks like here's an end. That's the one thing about seam binding. If you keep it in a little wadded ball like this, it's nearly impossible to find an end. Oh, look at that, here's a, here's a better piece. So, I am going to just slip this inside here. I should have done this before I stuck it to the card. I guess if you do this um, card, stick your seam binding down before, or um, put, put your seam binding through. Oh, and you know what else I want to stick down? Good grief. I'm off my game tonight, I think. I cut out this little... Um, decoration here. I'm going to put it on the top of my tag. Just like that. Nice. And now when I pull my seam binding through, ah, look at that. Stay put. tie a bow and I'm going to tie it upside down. I usually end up with better looking bows if I tie them upside down for whatever reason. to add my rain boots to the tag. This bow is going to be out of control here for a bit. Looks like it's peeling up here on the edge, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. There we go. And I think I'll pop these up with some foam it as well. And then I think I'm going to add some of my faux stitching on this outside edge here. And my wheel has not broken yet. The little pin that holds my wheel in place hasn't broken yet, but it's really, really close. Any day now, I suspect it's going to break. But that's okay. I'll just put a little screw through the wheel hole and hold it in place, and it'll be good for years. So there we go. That's really cute. And then I think I will adhere this down to the card like so. glue dries pretty quickly but I like to make sure it especially when I'm um, adhering the layers to the card base I like to make sure that it's nice and stuck there. 
cute little card ready to go off to a friend. And it is truly little at three by five. So thanks so much for watching my video. I hope this was fun. Just a quick little project. Um, check out all the um, other designers on the Impression Obsession team that are providing inspiration this week. I'll provide a link below to the Impress Impression Obsession blog where all of the designers will be uh, linked to. And just thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!